Hey my peeps! So this morning we are going to just do a very simple single, single French braid. I almost said single strand. But we've had lots of people ask just for a basic one French braid down the center of the head. So we are going to start by just taking a section. And I kind of start from ear to ear. You can start up higher if you want, but I like the way it looks just right around the ears. And kind of comb it so it's in place. You're going to divide it into three sections. So you have <clears throat> section on the left, section in the middle, and section on the right. Now you're going to take the left piece and cross it over that middle piece. So now you still have three sections, left, center, and right. But now you're going to cross it over, cross the right piece over the center piece. So you're just basically trading on places. Now you're going to pick up hair and add into that left piece. And again, you have your left and your center. You're going to switch them. And then you're going to add in hair on the right side to the very right piece. So you can see I still have my one, two, three, or left, center, right. Now I'm going to take that right piece, cross it over the center piece, and you can see we're beginning to start the French braid. Now the trick is just learning the fingering skills and you'll eventually get that mastered and it becomes really easy. Now I'm adding hair into the right piece. Here's my center piece right here. I'm going to cross over the center piece, see how it's crossed, and now I switch my fingering and add hair into the left side. And switch your fingering. Add to the right side, cross it over, switch your fingering, add to the left side, switch your fingering, add to the right side, switch your fingering and there you go you now have a French braid down the back of the head and then you just continue it like a traditional braid all the way down to the end of her hair and then secure it with an elastic if you're having trouble a good way to start is to try just practicing, but you can practice with yarn or string too until you get the fingering a little bit better. And I promise once that once you've learned that it becomes really, really easy. And there you go.